Hi everyone and welcome to this week's dev update notes. So it's going straight in, it says hello everyone, Lemon Lama here. Last week discussed the new raid changes in Skill Tree UI uh, coming to 5.5 and this week I'd like to discuss some of the other changes coming. Before we get into the details though, I have a couple of corrections of the previous post. So first off, I'd like to issue a correction from last week's dev update. Now we announced we're going to be adding dagger damage secondary to sword equipment, but this feature will not be added in 5.5 due to some issues and the secondary bonus structure. We likely will consider the dagger damage secondary in the future, but it will need to be done alongside a larger behind the scene change to the equipment secondary system. Okay, um, now does that mean the dagger build is not coming in 5.5 then? So the skill changes, but because if there'd be no uh, dagger damage secondary, then I wouldn't imagine that'd be feasible. Um, so let's see what they say. Secondly, I'd like to correct something that we previously stated about the clan hopper prevention. We previously announced that if a player had left the clan before the weekly key was set, they would be able to receive raid rewards for the upcoming week. However, however, we have discovered that players will also need to be part of the new clan before the weekly key reset in order to receive their week of raid rewards. The systems turn out to be more restrictive than we originally intended and we are making moves to change the system to be less restrictive to players and allow players to change clans more freely, yet still preventing clan hopping from giving more rewards than players to stay in the same clan. I'll um, be posting an update in the future devlogs once we have further details. But thank you for the understanding in the interim. I'm truly sorry for these errors of communications and work hard to sort out the communication and be more consistent in the future. Um, not, not such a big thing about that. I'm not sure bothered about that. Damage, uh, dagger damage for secondary equipment, um, that is a bit of a blow because I was kind of looking forward to dagger build. Um, I, as I said, I don't know because if secondary bonuses will be affected, if, if you can still stack that build, we will find out. So now with that out of the way, let's delve into some upcoming changes of 5.5. As many of you have summarized with the title of the post, we are also reworking events. The community has offered a large amount of feedback around how they feel with the current event system and how they'd like to see it change. So we took the feedback to rework an event system to add event types. So this is the badge events. Um, event types will offer three rotating event types, which each event having different focus. So the three types will be explained below. So first type is this is the prestige event. The event type you're familiar with, this event focuses on not prestigious with the 99 per daily limit. So that's basically the event we're doing at the moment. 20 is it 23 days, 22 days, and you can do as many as you want, and it's just getting to that 10% badge. Now this is where the second type and third type changes things up. So the second event type is a tournament type, which is focused around tournaments and your tournament rewards. The daily prestige limit will be lower uh, to reduce the daily grind and tournaments event currency will be drastically increased. Uh, this event will rely on ability to push above other players in tournament and getting a good placement overall. Unlike in the prestige event, players will benefit from using a push and scroll tree as a high uh, to get high as max stage as possible. Oh, so normal events is going to get you better rewards, but you won't be able to prestige as much. Is it, are they going to cap it then? Is there going to be a cap on how many times you can prestige in in uh, in the grind? Wow, I wonder if it will be. Daily prestige limit will be lowered. Daily prestige limit will be lowered to reduce the daily grind. So once if you like, like can't, surely they can't cap it. So say if you're in tournament, and the limit is 50. So once you've done 50 prestiges, is that it? You cannot prestige anymore in tournament. So what do you do? If you can't prestige anymore, um, do you just, like, that's it, you're stuck? You, you hit a wall? Oh, I don't know how that works. Uh, third type is the Abyss event, unless I read that wrong. Let me know in the comments below. The third type is the Abyss event. I'll we'll be adding event currency to Abyssal uh, uh, tournaments for all event types, but the Abyssal event will be drastically increased event currency, currency rewards with the daily prestige limit lowered and your ability to grow your sword master from the humble beginning to high max stage will determine how well you place in the events. Um, with the addition of event currency in business tournaments, players not feel like they're missing out on event currency from the main game because that values will still be worked on, but they'll be high enough to give dedicated business tournaments players an edge for the event placements. Um, I think that's a good idea because that's one thing that put me on with AT is that the, I felt like no, you grind for 24 hours and then you don't get much reward for it. So to celebrate additional event types, we're going to be 
uh, sorry, we're going to be launching the long requested Rockstar event. This will mean the return of Rockstar event set as well. As brand new Rock Queen to show off you, um, um, Mellow, Mellow Dick, Mellow Dick Mike. Uh, the last step update we mentioned that there will be more user interface coming in 5.5. So, touch on a few other things today. We'll be saving the last few changes until next week's post where I can show you screenshots in the future of these, sorry, of these features. We have a goal of reducing the visual clutter on the main scheme. To do this, we're introducing two new options to help minimize this. The first option is to toggle or enable or disable hero projectiles, which allow you to see the Titans more clearly uh, without being pummeled by your heroes. The second is in, um, new one coin mode, which merges all your gold that title drops to a single coin. This should reduce how, coin, how much gold fills the bottom of your screen. Interesting. Uh, Next up, we're reworking the welcome back panel to smooth out the visuals. It should be a lot clearer how many stages you're progressing through your silent march and how much interactive goals you gained. Additionally, we're adding a little bonus to the welcome back panel for players who have been inactive. The All Spells Fairy has a chance of showing up to welcome you back and watching it add will allow you to both gain and increase inactive progress, in increase inactive gold and have an, all your spells activated. This should help players boost to help you pro... Um, uh, this should help give players a boost to help you progress when you reopen your game and help players who use multicasting spells to stack, start stacking up the multicasting sooner. That's cool. I wonder if that's going to be, because it's an ad based, if you can VIP, you know, skip it. Um, it should be able to VIP skip. And they didn't mention it, but I would imagine because all, ad, all ads are skippable with VIP. As part of the feedback loop, we'd like to hear from you on all some um from you all on some of the changes we made in last update in 5.4 update we've decreased the preparation phase in cameras from 24 hour down to a 12 hour duration this change has made made to ensure that clans can finish both of the rage during a week do you prefer the 12 hour preparation phase or the old 24 hour one a 12 hour i've put 12 hour um i, I don't know how many people voted yeah i would imagine the 12 hour one uh, got a huge upvote because it makes you know basically you can start sooner which is what we want um, please let us know in the poll uh, below and any extra comments extra feedback suggestions uh, thank you for taking part in the poll and check out next week to wrap up the major changes in 5.5 so apparently uh, there's a lot of predictions um, there hasn't got a date when 5.5 is coming out some said the 11th but like the client says check back next week when we'll wrap up the major changes come to 5.5 including many ui and some fixes quality of life highly requested by the community thank you for reading this stuff update feedback's very important um so i, I think it's not that one where's it going to be the 18th or the 25th it's going to be released hmm, interesting um yeah so a bit bit of a short one but still a lot of info basically just clarification on the UI, uh, not having the dagger damage added, but there's still a lot of skill tree reworks. Um, there's a lot of information in last week's post, so make sure you watch that. I'll link it below. But they basically explain about the skill tree. This is just like a tidy up uh, summary um, and basically the events, event types. But the main update feature will be uh, the skill tree, skill tree changes, and adding the more skills. Um, tier 5 skills uh, so that's the most important thing so yeah please watch that video for more information about that I do like that they're making a bit of an effort on the uh, the events so the obviously the first event prestige event that stays the same but normal events being a limit how would that like to me it doesn't really matter because I only do about five runs per tournament anyway but for the daily grinders I, th I think it's a good thing I think it's a good thing uh, because like I've had so many people just uh, absolutely smash tournament just because they can play all day. So if you restrict that, then it makes it a bit more fairer and it makes it more challenging because then you've got to actually do a decent build and do optimize it instead of just going, oh, I'll just do, you know, 99 prestiges and uh, against someone who can only do 20. So I don't know. Let me go. Let me know what you guys think before below you know you think it's a good thing it's a bad thing if there's anything you'd like to add uh, and also again massive thanks to lemmy for keeping us updated doing a fantastic job so lemmy well done um and yeah and vote as well so your your opinions count so yeah thank you very much so this is a short one i know it was a bit late i should have had this out yesterday but been a bit of a busy week um thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it make sure you're subbed and i'll see you in the next video take care bye